Today's story takes place in the Middle East, a region of the world that is associated to war, missing human rights and terrorism for a very long time already. Hey guys, I'm Julia. I'm Sven. And this fluffy guy over here is Felix. We usually travel around the world in our van, but some time ago Sven and I spent six weeks in Iran and today we will share our story with you. The full name of the country already tells you a lot about it. It's called the Islamic Republic of Iran, so it is a Islamic theocracy. The government controls the entire media, that's why many prisoners in Iran are journalists or free bloggers. In Iran, there are many harsh rules and laws. For example, owning alcohol is punished by whiplashes. Homosexuality is punished by death. In the past, women who didn't cover correctly could be sent into jail and at the moment there are still many protests going on in Iran because the people just don't want to accept those inhumane conditions anymore. But who are all these people living in Iran and suffering from the regime? In today's video we want to talk about our experience in this country. And spoiler alert, after the trip Iran became one of our favorite countries in the world. Okay, let's start with our story time. Before we entered Iran we were a bit scared to be honest because of all the strict laws that we just talked about and I had to cover. I even needed a passport picture with a scarf and whenever I wanted to walk around in public I had to cover my hair. We crossed the border from Armenia to Iran and we were quite nervous at that moment to be honest. So we went to the border personnel and yeah, we were positively surprised because the border guys, they just handed us some snacks and they welcomed us very friendly. And we thought they would be super strict and control everything, but they were just like, hey, welcome to Iran. <laughs> And this was pretty much the attitude everyone had when they saw us walking around. Sometimes we just walked in the streets and locals invited us to their houses and wanted to share some dinner with us, wanted to talk to us. It was so, so cool. Iranian people are super hospitable. And I don't know if you can believe it, but we stayed for six weeks and we didn't spend a single night in a hotel. We did couch surfing six weeks long. We stayed with so many amazing families and met so many awesome people and we also want to share a few of their stories with you today. For me, growing up and living in Germany my entire life, it was very difficult or it felt a bit um, weird to wear a scarf and to become a little bit invisible, I would say. And um, when we stayed with all these different people. We also met many young women and inside the houses most of the women didn't cover up at all. They only did it when they went to the streets because they obviously have to do that. But many of these young women shared their thoughts with us and said that they don't want to um, do this anymore. They had so many visions for their lives but in Iran due to all these strict rules some of them are not possible. That's why many young women decide to move to another country to make their dreams come true, get a good job and live their lives the way they want to. We also stayed with a more traditional family that was a bit more religious than the women Julia just talked about but they were also so friendly to us. We always had dinner with them, huge dinner plates with the whole family every night basically and they were so curious about our lifestyles and they didn't judge us at all. So um, at one point Julia got dressed up in those traditional clothing. <laughs> Just shared our experiences, our life experiences. And we got invited to their culture. We could just join them and have fun with them. We also quickly learned that couch surfing is somehow a hobby of the Iranians because they don't really have access to all these uh, social media platforms like... Or media at all, yeah, like free media. Like we do, so they can't really connect to the outside world. Some of them do anyways because they use VPNs um, to go on Instagram, for example. But uh, yeah, for many people, inviting strangers to their house from the Couchsurfing app is the only option to actually talk to foreigners. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Iran! 
at some couch surfers we met like 10 other people from all different parts of the world and it was so interesting and so cool to hear all the stories and to talk uh, to them at another couch surfer where we had most of other couch surfers at one place together the hosts were actually kind of like rebels you could probably say because they were artists and the kind of art they were creating in iran they just weren't able to sell it there or to even make the art like publicly because it is not like considered art from the regime itself that's why at that point when we were there they sold all of their art to turkey and to foreign countries and right now they already left iran i think for a few years already which is kind of sad because they couldn't fulfill their dreams in the country they love or where most of their family and friends are but they had to go to yeah to, to, to work hmm. the images you see most of the time from the streets and from the regime are not the same like the people at home or the iranians who just want to live a nice life so uh, we really understood when we were there that the government are not the people so the contrast between these two different things was so, so strong and everyone was so friendly, so educated. Most people could actually speak English, which was super nice. I think in Germany, not that many people can speak English where we are from. And coming home to our car surfer always felt like coming to some kind of oasis because <laughs> when we walked through the streets or we drove in the subway or something like that, it was so chaotic. It was so full and packed. There were so many people. It was crazy. But the picture we got on the streets with the strict rules and the women covered up is definitely not what we saw at home. Some Iranians even have parties, even though I think dancing in public is not allowed, but they make their own alcohol um, at home secretly and they really try to enjoy life as much as possible but they can't really share it so we just have to repeat it again the government are not the people and um, the people are suffering yeah. from this regime right now there are still protests going on like we already said and I mean you probably also saw it on the news but for the future you should definitely put Iran into your bucket list because Mark my words, you will never find more hospitable people, more friendlier people anywhere else than in this country. Trust me. We really enjoyed our time there and we often have to think back and I hope one day we can go back because the country is just so, so beautiful and there are so many places to discover. We really hoped you enjoyed this video with this little story time. And if you did, give it a thumb up. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, and we will see you next week. Ciao, bye ciao. Bye. Daumen hoch. Daumen hoch. Wow, yes. very good. <laughs> Und abonnieren nicht vergessen. Und abonnieren nicht vergessen. Und abonnieren nicht vergessen.